with plans for an island-wide cycling path network covering more than 700 kilometers here, MPs are calling for more road safety measures. One suggests that cyclists get licenses before they're allowed on the road. This video trending online shows a cyclist riding dangerously on a road near Vivo City. While an accident did not occur, a confrontation nearly did. Member of Parliament for Nisun GRC, Lee bi is aware of the problems errant cyclists pose. She believes a combination of regulation and education is the way forward. In the past, in order to own a bicycle, uh, they need to go and apply license. I thought this is quite a good suggestion. Uh, perhaps we can do it with a tweak. Before they are given license, perhaps uh, LTA can ask the applicants to go for lessons uh, to understand the do's and the don'ts of cyclists. Tampines, Singapore's first model cycling town, has recruited volunteers to act as wardens to help ensure the safety of both cyclists and pedestrians. These wardens look out for unsafe cycling behaviour. We need to also complement it with education efforts and at the same time also to enforce against reckless cyclists because safety is the number one priority. Because there's no point saying you encourage cycling but you, you don't promote safe cycling. Although Tampanese Town Council is empowered to issue summons to reckless cyclists, wardens have only handed out warnings so far.